In today's video, I will teach you how to create a custom sticker in GIMP. Let's get started. Creating custom stickers in GIMP is a fun and creative process that allows you to personalize your designs. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions to learn how to make stickers using GIMP. The first step is setting up your document and fill pattern. Open GIMP and create a new document by selecting File, the New. Then choose your desired dimensions. Now, select the Buckets Fill tool and choose a wood pattern from the pattern options. Then click on the canvas to apply the wood pattern as a background. Now we're going to make a circular selection. To do this, add a new layer by going to the bottom of the Layers panel and clicking on the Create New Layer button. And make sure to set the Fill With option to Transparency. Then name it Sticker. Now, click on the Ellipse Select Tool icon and make a circular selection on the canvas. And make sure to hold the Shift key to make a perfect circle. Now we're going to fill the selection. To do this, press the letter D on your keyboard to reset the foreground and background colors to default. Now, with the circular selection still active, go to the Edits menu, then select Fill with Background Color to fill the selection with the background color. Now we're going to shrink the selection. To do this, go to Select, then Shrink, and shrink the selection by the desired amount, for example, 30 pixels. Now we're going to create a border. To do this, go to Select, then Border, and create a border around a shrunken selection, for example, 8 pixels. And to fill the border, go to Edit, then Fill with Background Color to fill the border with a background color. Now we're going to fill the sticker. Select the Bucket Fill tool and choose a color for the sticker. And to fill the sticker, click on the center of the circular selection with the Bucket Fill tool to fill the sticker with a chosen color. The next step is adding text. Click on the Text Tool icon and choose a font type and size. Then type the desired text onto the sticker. Then use the Move tool to adjust the position of the text on the sticker. To create the sticker fold, click on the Path Tool icon and create a triangular path on the sticker to represent the fold. Then press Enter to convert the path into selection. To cut and paste the selection, go to Edit, then Select Cut to cut the selected fold area. Then go to Edit and select Paste as New Layer to paste the cut fold as a new layer. Now we're going to rotate the fold piece. To do this, select the rotated layer, then go to Tools, Transform Tools, then Rotate. Then rotate the layer by 180 degrees. The next step is filling the white sticker pieces. To do this, press the D key to set the background color to white. Then make a selection of the sticker pieces and fill them with white. Then use the Move tool to drag the sticker pieces back to their original position. Now we're going to create the fold shadow. Select the sticker fold layer, then go to Layer, Transparency, then Alpha to Selection to make a selection of the folded area. Then create a new transparent layer and name it Shadow. Then use the Paintbrush tool to paint a shadow effect on the selected area. Then adjust the opacity as needed. And lastly, we're going to add drop shadows. To do this, click on the sticker layer to activate it. Then go to Filters, Light and Shadows, then select Drop Shadow to add drop shadows to the sticker. Now you've successfully created a custom sticker in GIMP. Feel free to experiment with different colors, textures, and effects to personalize your stickers further. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.